Hiya guys! So I'm back again with another video and this time it's going to be some disappointing products. These are predominantly beauty products but there will be a, a couple of random non-beauty products as well that I found very disappointing. So I'm just going to get straight into the video and I do apologise if you can hear a bit of background noise. There's currently a police helicopter flying outside. I've been trying to film this video for about an hour and it still won't disappear so sorry about that. Um, but hopefully it's not too bad. So the first thing in my little bag of disappointing products is the Body Shop Satsuma Shower Gel. Now I love this formula which is the uh, soap free cleanser with the extracts in it. Uh, this one we've watered down, um, but basically, I just, oh, the scent is too much. Um, I also have a, the Early Harvest Raspberry one, and that's lovely, because it's really lovely and subtle and things. But this one, it reminds me of Mr. Muscle or Flash Orange Cleaner. Oh, no, I hate it. So, for me, this is a very disappointing product, just because of the, the sheer punch of the fragrance. Now I know a lot of people love it, like Talk Becky Talk and Holly Sheeran and I think Fleur de Force, um, but I'm sorry, this is just, it doesn't do it for me and it's not exactly the cheapest shower gel. Um, so for this one, definitely a disappointing product, but I'm trying to use it up because it is soap free and everything, so I'm kind of putting up with the smell. Um, the next disappointing product is the T-Zone Anti-Blemish BB Cream with Tea Tree, Whips Hazel and Illumicin. So basically I picked this up on a bit of a whim. It says that it is a skin perfecter and that it's a universal shade. Um, so it comes in this little squeezy tube. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand. So there we go, just that tiny little blob right there. And then I will blend it in with my fingers, which is what I used to do. But look, it leaves quite an orangey tint and it it doesn't really blend um that well. I mean it leaves a lovely sorry guys. Uh it leaves a lovely um tea tree scent, but as you can see that's my skin tone and that's the um, BB cream and it's just it's awful absolutely awful because you'll look orange it doesn't matter how much you blend it um, it just does not sink into the skin and you get left with a horrible orange patch and you do not want to look orange so definitely this one by T-Zone with the universal shade no luckily I only paid pound for it so it wasn't a massive disappointment Another disappointment, unfortunately, came as a present from a friend. Um, it's the Sheer Paradise Perfume by Sapphire Perry. And this came in a gorgeous butterfly bottle. But upon opening the fragrance and smelling it... <laughs> no. Um, how can I dis... This scent... It reminds me of a stereotypical grandma scent. Um... It's not very nice whatsoever. Um, I don't find this at all a pleasing. Um, if you do get this scent, I mean, it might well sit on your skin lovely and make you smell really, really nice. But for me, no, it, it's done nothing. So again, another disappointment. Uh, another one that I've got here, again, was a gift set. And this is the eyeshadow trio. This is by Wilkinson's. And they're baked eyeshadows. So when I saw that they were baked, I had really big hopes for them. So I opened them up. And as you can see, you've got a range of three colours. A really light colour, a medium colour, and a dark colour. So I'm just going to pick the darkest one out of the bunch. And what I'm going to do is just swatch it on my finger. Okay, so that is the pigmentation that we're talking about. Excuse me, I'm just going to sort my light There we go. Um, so that is the colour that we're talking about, but then when you swatch it onto the eye, it disappears immediately. Like, you've got to pack a lot of colour on there to be able to get anything that it's like in there. So, and you see there, very, very light shimmer, and then this is what it should look like. So, just to get anywhere near that colour that you've fallen in love with, you've got to put two 
three, basically four layers to get anywhere near that colour. And a baked eyeshadow normally packs a lot more punch than this one does. Um, again, like I said, it was a present, so I can't comment on how much it was. Um, but in my opinion, I would not say that that is a very worthy kit. I'm sure you could get some single eyeshadows, such as eyeshadows from MUA, which are only a pound, um, that would deliver far better on pigmentation um, and also staying power than the ones from Wilkinson's. I mean, as you can see, I'm just rubbing there quite gently and the colour's just disappearing. Um, another couple disappointing products were part of a massive set and they were single eyeshadows. Again, this is just purely down to pigmentation. There is no brand on there. Um, oh, sorry, Mark Wins International. Like I said, it's all part of a set, but the pigmentation, again, of just the different colours weren't very good. Um, but they were ideal for when I was starting out in makeup when I was a lot younger. Um, but definitely, I would look again to MUA Makeup Revolution, which is in Superdrug at the moment. Um, a lot of their products seem to be a pound, or a couple of pound. Uh, another disappointing perfume is the City Rush perfume from Next, I believe. Again, I got sent this scent, or as a present, and the fragrance just doesn't sit very well on the skin. It, the description that was on the box, which I threw away, said it was a light, floral, fruity scent, and it just doesn't really deliver. Um, so unfortunately that was quite a, a disappointment. Um, let's have a look, what else have I got? A lipstick from Wilkinson's, actually I've got a couple. <clears throat> let's have a look, how many have I got here? Okay, so I've got four lipsticks here. And as you can see they range in shade from a light baby doll pink to a magenta to a ready pinky purple and then this dark grey purple colour. Um, the formulas on these suck. <laughs> it doesn't matter how hydrated your lips are or anything, that colour will not go on smoothly for toffee. I mean there's a swatch of the, the mauvey purple. As you can see it's quite patchy. There's definitely more colour from the nib than there is from the rest of the bullet. This one is the pinky, magenta -y, ready colour. I mean, look at that. That is so patchy. And I swear, I'm applying the same amount of pressure from one end to the other. And like I said, I moisturised the crap out of my lips. I thought, oh, well, maybe my lips are like really dry. Um, no, that one is probably the best pigmentation wise, but again, it just went on horribly and they have a really drying formula, in my opinion. And then this baby doll pink, look. <laughs> what pigmentation? Seriously, what pigmentation? I have to really, really rub and it's, oh, it's horrible. Ugh! They irritate me so much because the colours are gorgeous, but then, as you can see, they just apply appallingly. Especially this one. I thought, oh, a gorgeous baby doll pink, and no. It was awful. Um, another lipstick related, again, from that Mark Wynn set, is this lovely deep purple colour. Again, it just applies shockingly. And the formula is horrible. I mean... Okay, it's not as patchy as some of these, um, but the formula isn't very nice. It's very, very drying. I just, I wouldn't really go for that. I would rather now pick up, if I'm getting some new makeup, something from, um, like Miss Sporty or something like that. You know, get them a couple of products or get them a, a voucher and let them go and pick stuff themselves. Um, again, from the Mark Wins um, lip liner formula is very very drying and it doesn't apply the best 
pigmentation is quite good as you can see from both of those um, so if you're just starting out in makeup and you're just trying to find maybe some colours that suit you excuse me then they'd be perfectly fine um, but in regards to the actual formula they're very very drying and they're just not very nice at all I think there's much better things that you can find for a similar price point Ooh, out there in the market uh, than, than those um, another little disappointing product this was a sample though um, something I think this is from Accessorize and it was two little eyeshadows um, again the pigmentation in these just weren't really up to anything um, but the colours were pretty and when I was younger they were very very good to play with and you know little girls would love things like this because it doesn't really put any colour on their eyes so they'd be absolutely fine just to have some makeup to play with Another disappointing product is from a brand called Versailles. Versailles. This is a cream based eyeshadow and again this formula is quite a, a dry cream and as soon as you apply it and start blending it out it, it feels very difficult to blend and the colour disappears as well. So that was the colour um, I was just very, very disappointed with the eyeshadow quality because it was in the set from Argos and I just thought, oh, great, you know, because Argos normally have really, really good um, brands for, like, part of their ranges. Again, this came out of the Verso kit as well. This was a lip liner. Um, it doesn't even say on it. I think I've used it as a lip liner, but again, it's very, very patchy. The colour pigmentation is quite good, um, but when I did wear this on my lips, it was ridiculously drying. Um, my lips just, they were screaming for moisture, basically, and they didn't feel very nice for a couple of days. A couple of nail polishes uh, that aren't worth it. Again, from Mark Wins and the Verso kit. So these are both out of Argos. I've just remembered the Mark Winters out there as well. They look gorgeous in the bottle. Um, but this one, which is a red glitter, literally goes on like a glittery overlay. And similar with this one, which is obviously silver. I've got a couple of other colours. Um, this baby pink. Very, very sheer. Takes a lot of coats to get it to that colour. This one's very much the same. As you can see very watery as well and then there is this nail polish which comes from Wilkinson's as well Ugh. very very gloopy formula it kind of reminds me of PVA glue I was not impressed at all um, couldn't really do a French manicure or anything like that with it um, very, very disappointed with that. My last few products, again, this one is a Technique Fruity Lip Gloss. Smells okay. Um, so let me remind myself that some, yeah, not the nicest smell, um, but as for colour, it, it's not the best. And the formula is very, very sticky. It has a little bit of colour, as you can see, it's like a pinky colour, um, but it's very, very sticky on the lips. Your lips feel very, very uncomfortable after wearing it for, uh, I wouldn't even say a couple of hours. Um, and then this is just a lip gloss, again, from either the Mark Wins or the Verso set. Um, and this one, again, smells quite nice. It has a decent colour payoff but it's super super sticky and they're just not very nice at all I mean I, I actually saw a couple of these to buy separately um, and I would much rather go for something from MYX or any any other brand really um, from from what they were um, so overall they were just products that I've either been given or I've bought and I found that they were very, very disappointing um, and just not worth the money and I don't want people going out 
thinking that they're getting good value for money from somewhere like Argos or um, Wilkinson's or anywhere like that that sell little kits like this that would be great for somebody starting off in makeup for the person to actually end up having to go and spending more money to get something that would really, really work. I mean, these sort of lipsticks, um, I would seriously say go to Superdrug, find your local MUA counter and pick up one of their lipsticks for a pound. Okay, you, you do need to put um, a little bit of lip balm or something on first um, because the formula can be quite drying, especially with the matte formula. But at the end of the day, for a pound, what do you really expect? I mean, do you expect the best formula? No, but it, the pigmentation of them is gorgeous. And then obviously, if you've got a little bit more money, you can look at other brands such as Maybelline. This is one of their 24, uh, not 24 hour, the 14 hour super stay lip, lipsticks even. This is in... Uh, 510 that way around <laughs> sorry uh, non-stop red so that way and um, this formula smells lovely it lasts I wouldn't necessarily say for the 14 hours but um, it applies lovely as you can see the colour is pretty consistent throughout um, that was where it went over the bump in my hand it's probably not the best place to swatch, but it has a lovely fruity smell to it and lasts for ages if you don't use lipstick that often. Um, so I'd definitely say go for something like that um, over buying your really, really cheap sets. Unless, obviously, it is a gift set from Soap and Glory or Maybelline or something like that that is a, a good brand that you know is going to work and be well worth your money. Um, so sorry about that, I've rambled on for a while. Um, please do comment, rate and subscribe any videos that you would like to see. Like I said, I just don't want people being ripped off for their money. Uh, money is not something that is easily come by nowadays. So whatever we do have, we need to spend wisely and this is why I'm so inspired to come on here and, and say to you guys, okay, um, if you don't have a lot of money, don't worry, this is the best thing for you. And that's where I'm going. So I'm going to end this video now. Please do comment, rate and subscribe. Uh, I'd be so touched if you do that. Even if it's just a comment, let me know, like I said, what you want to see in the next, in the next video. I'm going to film another video now, a little tutorial of how to use that nail spray that I mentioned in my top five nail polishes uh, with a few misses and a bonus product. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!